Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club and we are at Port Tap House in Knoxville, Tennessee. Come on in. We're going to hang out for a bit and have some drinks. Located in old downtown Knoxville, we ran into a place called The Poor, which is paradise. They have wine, they have mead, they have all kinds of different beers that you could possibly think of. It's a tap room. You give up your ID there and they run your card, give you this bracelet, you go up to the tap, then it'll give you a, a pour, however much you want, record it, and then you get charged after the fact. Fresh glasses, and it's just absolutely amazing. We're here at the pour in Knoxville, Tennessee with the uh, owner of the pour. One of them. Yeah, One of me, the owners? Me and the missus own half, and then my money guy owns the other half, and so far so good. Oh, fantastic. And you were just telling me that you're a, a former brewer, though, also. Yeah, I had, uh, in the first financial collapse, uh, my father-in-law lives in Mills River, and then when they built that Sierra Nevada Brewing there, uh -huh. they also built a brew school nearby. So I was like, well, why don't I go back to school and just get a fermentation science degree? And it was great. I used to work at Highland. Uh, I worked at Oscar Blues for a while. and then, But in the midst of that, there was one of these in Asheville. And as easy as a Facebook message to uh, the owner of that establishment some years ago was like, I was like, hey, if I did one of these in a non-competing market, would you give me some pointers? Um, and that turned into, he was actually licensing the concept out at the time. Uh -oh. And I was like, well, if you can't beat him, join him, you know, get brand recognition. And then the guy that I knew in Asheville who put up the money for us um, was is born and raised here. And he's like, why not Knoxville? And I was like, I, I don't know, I've never been, let's go check it out. So we did the market research yeah. and um, ended up loving it. And then July 1st, so like a month from today basically is our five year mark. So, so far so good. How many taps do you, do you have? 68, you 68 total, only about 40 of them are beer. Um, so while we get branded sometimes as like a beer place, there really is something for everybody. We even have a company that makes um, emulsified juices that we can make cocktails that say shelf stable. There's, you know, we've got sake coming in and kegs. There's oh, wine, there's man. seltzers, there's, I mean, there's almost a, a non-alcoholic section for people that come in and like, I don't drink. I'm like, that's fine. There's something there for you too, so. Yeah, that's perfect. And the efficiency with this is just fantastic. Yeah, everything, the main selling point of the system, some people have, um, it, without ever experiencing it, you know, I've seen the posts on Facebook, you know, like self-serve bars, I've never stepped in there. If I wanted to pour my own damn beer, I'd stay home. And it's like, and I get some of that, but for the people like me that would go to a bartender that are, um, you know, hey, can I try that? Can I try that? Can I try that? Can I try yeah. that? Can I try that? Not only am I taking up their time, um, a lot of people wondered why pints went you know, over the years from five dollars a pint to six dollars a pint to seven dollars a pint because they had to include those giveaways and it oh yeah so we, yeah this system um while it does charge for the samples it also puts the consumer in control of their own consumption so most people especially with that many choices they don't want a full pint of anything anymore um but that's why flights are so popular and the average pour here every month is four ounces that's what everyone's doing so you can just go get your thing um you can talk to me as much or as little as you want. Yeah. Um, oh, it's we can brilliant. Help people learn how to, you know learn how to pour if they get like a foamy pour if they just have questions on anything. So it just takes you do this like zone defense of just taking care of a uh, general customer service and then you don't have to um, excuse yourself from the table and be like, well, I have to go help with this other table. I have yeah. to go away. And just kind of hang out. And I love that flights. I talk about that all the time with things. And when we g go any place, that's usually what I'll do first is I'll get a flight because I just want to taste a whole lot of different things and right. yeah this is it's perfect and then as another selling point on this system a lot of places when they do fines will charge a higher price per ounce if you will, the lower the poor the higher the price like you know a pint might be only five bucks but they're four ounce poor might be 250. you know so the math doesn't always work out at least with this system the ounce price is the same the whole time or you can pour a half ounce on here and just really try it if you don't like it you're out like 17 cents and oh yeah to the next one you don't have to like muscle it down. You know, you're like, oh, I paid for it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I finish this. Yeah. Uh, to get your money's worth. Although I don't encourage that. That is called alcohol abuse. You drink your beer. That's it. Always finish. <laughs> you know what I didn't? What I forgot to do is um, get your name. Oh, uh, Joel. Joel McLeod. Arthur, hey, thank you, you so much for your time, Joel. Yeah. Yeah, this is fantastic. When we walked, well, they were telling us about it. And, um, you know, describing it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. And it is all that. Oh, good. Yeah, sometimes yeah, it's most hard definitely. for some people to picture it ahead of time. They're yeah. like, they're like, 
so it's like Froyo, you know, they're like, <laughs> you know, they have a lot of people kinda, just think kinda. it's Froyo for alcohol. Yeah. They're just like, so they get it and they come up and weigh it at the end. I'm like, no, it's it's much more high tech oh, than yeah, that. Oh, yeah, no. That's these just, guys have figured everything out. It's, it's really amazing. Cool. And I love that. Everything is right there. You have the ABV, you have the IBUs, you have a little bit of a description on it. Yeah, they the have beers. it networked and even into Untapped. So it pulls from oh. there, pulls the description from there, pulls the info. When we change a beer on there, it'll, I don't have it right on the screen right now, but it'll it'll auto update on untapped instantaneously. So like the draft list is always accurate. Nice. It's pretty cool. It's really well integrated. Here it's oh, like good. you can have whatever you want. You can go taste everything. And we've had people literally do the whole place before, so. Oh, so that's yeah. that's, that's a Run, funny thing that, yeah, that. Running the rail, I think is what we called it. The missus used to offer like a, we have a way of turning on like uh, people's bracelets into like a VIP membership program where they get like 10% off for life. So they pour oh. like a little sample of everything the whole way. So they're like, oh my God, that sounds like a lot. I was like, well, even if you did like an ounce, it's only 68 ounces, you know, over a few hour period. It's just yeah. like a couple pints, you know, it's not, not the end of the world. But so yeah, people will just start at one end and just sample. Yeah. Sample, That's sample, what sample, I did. Sample, I just sample. went through and I just would get just a little bit of each and I've, I've tried them and then once you find something you like, you could go back and have a little more, or you could try more things. So it's really, really, really cool. Yeah, so like your graduation weekend was this past week, and of course a lot of college students bring their family, they're like, you gotta see this really unique place. And uh, somebody's like little old grandma was in here and she was so excited that she had 20 different beers, but she only had 32 ounces. Yeah, Oh. So that that'd be my mom. That'd be your mom, that'd yeah. Be my mom. She was like, I had 20 different things and I'm walking out of here. I was like, and, and regardless of somebody of course one ounce or 50 ounces, the way this is designed, it's like, it's, it, it's always profitable. Yeah. yeah. It's curiosity's killed me, but I've never done it. I've never <laughs> done the official suicide of this place. So that would be kind of fun. It'd be bizarre. Yeah, I don't maybe know that'll be I'm... like my closing day. You know, hurrah or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> We've mixed the Belching Beaver peanut butter stout with the uh, Rubeus, and that was really good. Peanut butter yeah, we jelly. did. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did that in uh, one of our our videos. Love it. That was great. Yeah. I even have a peanut butter and jelly beer on right now. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Well, I'm going to rush over there and I'm going to go try that peanut butter and jelly beer. Deal. Good talking to hey, you. Hey, thanks again. Yeah, no good worries, talking to you. you yeah. So here at Poor Tap Room, we are having a good time. And not only can you drink Tennessee Local, you can drink anything you want. So cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Stay safe, drink responsibly. And don't and forget to stay metal. Cheers.